The CBT Nuggets Wireless Sharp Nugget Series. Welcome to Wireless Sharp. My name is Michael Shannon, and I want to congratulate you, first of all, for choosing a potential career in wireless technology, and secondly, letting CBT Nuggets be your guide. In this first nugget, we're going to set the groundwork and get a plan of action for the remaining Nugget movies. You know, you're on the cusp of an exploding industry. Someday, in the not-too-distant future, the next generation will look at wires like a typewriter or the 8-track tape. Ancient relics of days gone by. This is the wireless age, my friend, and you're in the right place at the right time. So, let's get started. In this introduction to Wireless Sharp, we're going to cover three key objectives. First of all, we're going to learn about this Wireless Sharp certification. Then, we'll get an overall exam abstract. Take a look at this thing. And then finally, your best approach to success. Alrighty, let's talk about this Wireless Sharp exam and Wireless Sharp certification. What is it? Well, it's an entry level certification for the wireless information technology industry. We want to measure your ability to comprehend, to set up wireless solutions, to recommend different products for small installations, for small to medium sized businesses, small offices, home offices, or hotspots. We'll define those later. Now the knowledge base and the set of skills that are measured by this exam comes from a survey of wireless networking professionals and Wi-Fi experts. And the result of this survey is what was used in kind of looking at the different subject areas that we're going to cover in this Nugget series and for your exam. You're going to have a solid certified information knowledge base in a wide variety of areas by the time we're done with this CBT Nugget series. We'll be looking at Wi-Fi technologies like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, WiMAX, Zigbee, infrared technology, radio frequency ID or RFID technology, and voice over wireless LAN. We'll also look at wireless organizations and the standards and protocols that those organizations generate. We'll look at wireless hardware solutions, wireless software solutions, and installing wireless solutions. We'll talk about radio frequency technologies in addition to wireless applications, wireless support, and of course, security. Now, as I mentioned previously before we began here, this is a great time to be studying wireless information. There's quite a few benefits to wireless sharp certification. Now, what are some of the benefits of going through this entire Wireless Sharp CBT Nugget series, learning the information, and then passing the Wireless Sharp certification exam? Well, it'll allow you to display to the general public and to possible future employers general knowledge of the newest wireless technologies and solutions. It's a career boost. It gives you marketability and credibility in the wireless LAN marketplace. The Wireless Sharp exam is an excellent entry point into the wireless IT industry. It's the best. It shows a broad knowledge base and competency and it certifies that you know that information. Let's get an abstract of this exam. Now again, this is the Wireless Sharp exam. The number is PW0-050. The main website is CWNP.com. Let me just jot that down for you. Triple dub CWNP.com. The cost as of May of 2006 is $125. Check out this website because that may change. You have 90 minutes to pass the exam. You're going to get 60 questions, 60 multiple choice, multiple ans answer questions. So there'll be multiple choice, but not all of the questions will have just one answer. Many of them will have multiple answers. The passing score is 70%. What that means is you have to get 42 questions correct out of the 60 to pass the exam. If you want to be a CWNP instructor and teach others about this exam, Exam, you need to get 48 out of 60 questions correct. There's two websites to go and schedule this wireless sharp exam. You can go to www.viewe.com forward slash CWNP or you can go to Prometrics website www.2test.com. The Wireless Sharp exam has four domains or four areas. 
The first one is the wireless technologies and standards. This makes up 32% of the exam, about a third of the exam content, uh, looking at different types of organizations, the IEEE, the Wi-Fi Alliance, groups like that, the Infrared Data Association. You're also going to look at the different characteristics of Wi-Fi technology, uh, things like range, frequency, channels, roaming, infrastructure, those types of things. You'll learn about different wireless LAN standards and some of the certifications. Uh, look at 802.11a, 11b, 11g. Also certifications, the Wi-Fi certification, WMM, wireless multimedia certification, and security, WPA and WPA2. You'll also take a look at the characteristics, the attributes, and the advantages of Zigbee, WiMAX, as I mentioned earlier, Bluetooth, infrared technology, voice over wireless LAN, and RFID. Then the second domain, which takes up 28% of the exam content, is wireless hardware, software, and installation. This is things like access points, wireless routers, bridges and repeaters, gateways, a wireless LAN switching, also uh, some of your client devices, uh, PC cards, uh, universal serial bus devices, compact flash devices, things like that. By the way, you don't have to memorize all this. We're going to cover it in detail throughout this Nugget series. Uh, also in the second domain, we'll look at mini PCI as well as PCI devices, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, wireless IP telephony, uh, wireless IP cameras, gateways, those types of things. You'll also talk about antennas in that second domain. Then in the third area, which only makes up 9%, uh, is radio frequency fundamentals. This is things like basic units of radio frequency measurement, uh, range and speed of radio frequency transmission, different types of wireless technologies, DSSS, OFDM, FHSS and infrared. Now, you might be at, uh, wondering, hey, how come only 9%? How come this radio frequency fundamentals and mathematics is only about 10% of the exam? Well, just to let you know, in the certification that follows the wireless SHARP, the CWNA, Certified Wireless Network Administrator, that's when you really have to know uh, all of the deep math and the radio frequency fundamentals. So this is just a brief overview introduction into that next much deeper certification. Once you are ready for the CWNA, trust me, uh, you'll need in-depth knowledge of radio frequency information. Then the last domain is wireless applications, support, and security. This is installation and configuring of your common wireless LAN applications, SOHO, small office, home office, mobile users, public wireless hotspots, uh, connectivity in a municipal area or a metropolitan area network, voice over wireless LAN and RFID. Again, you'll look at Zigbee applications, WiMAX and Bluetooth applications and infrared apps. Then of course wireless security techniques. These are things like SSID hiding, WEP, WPA, and WPA2. Learning about RADIUS, learning about EAP, Extensible Authentication Protocol, uh, MAC filtering, virtual private networking, uh, all types of things. Uh, optimizing your wireless networks, hardware placement, choosing the hardware, utilizing and optimizing your network, choosing the best security protocols. Also along with that, you'll have some wireless troubleshooting techniques as well. Well, that's the overall look at the areas and the domains of the Wireless Sharp exam. Let me give you some of my best advice for approaching this CBT nugget. Let me give you four pieces of advice to help you become as successful as possible in learning this information and, of course, passing the Wireless Sharp certification exam. First of all, you want to take extensive notes on this Nugget series all the way through. A lot of this information is just simply memorizing terminology, memorizing technology. So you want to make sure that you have a good notebook to study from. So take good notes. Then I recommend going through this Nugget series two times. Now, if you want to take extensive notes your first time through and then go through the Nugget series again and just watch everything, maybe the week before you take your exam, not a bad idea. Or just casually watch it through the first time and then go through the second time and take your extensive notes. Either way, I highly recommend two times through this Nugget series. Then I'll be giving you a wide variety of websites along the way that are extra resources that you're going to want 
want to have for the future. Make sure that you have a folder in your browser saved in your favorites area just for wireless technology and save these website links that I give you all along the way. All the extra resources, make sure that you keep those. And then finally, try to get some hands-on experience. Even if it's just going down to your local retailer and spending an hour or so in the area of wireless. Just go in there, look at all the different products they have, look at the different solutions, pick up the boxes, read the manufacturer specifications, look at the vendor information on all these devices. Go up on some of the websites I give you, uh, follow through some of the research. Try to get your hands on this equipment. If you can get access and help somebody put together a wireless network, volunteer to do it for a school or for some nonprofit organization. Volunteer your time and get some hands-on experience implementing wireless technology. That'll be your best bet. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the content as we move now into the second movie of this Wireless Sharp Nugget series. Wi-Fi Organizations In this opening movie of the Wireless Sharp CBT Nugget series, we covered three areas. First of all, we learned about the Wireless Sharp certification. Then, we got an exam abstract, an overview of the different concepts and information covered on the Wireless Sharp exam. And then, four steps, your best approach to success. I hope this CBT Nugget's been informative for you. I want to thank you for viewing. We'll see you in the next movie.